All right, for this example here, we got f of x is negative 2 sine 2, parentheses x plus pi by 4 plus 1. So let's, and we have to sketch it over the interval 2 pi. So here is 2 pi, we'll say. Well, we need to think about what each of these values mean. And so let's first think about the fact that my period, I always start with the period, is equal to 2 pi over my b value is uh, this 2 here, over 2, which equals pi. So my period is pi, which is approximately here, halfway to 2 pi. And in any period, I break it up into quarters because there's four quadrants to the circle. So this is pi, pi by 2, and so on. And I can do that here as well. Next thing I look up is my amplitude. I know it's going to be, well, a negative 2. So it's going to go down first, but a value from 2 to negative 2. My amplitude is 2. And then I know my shift is going to be to the left, pi by 4, and then up 1. All right, so let's put some points here. So I know it's sine. It starts here. This is without the shifts. I'm going to go down, up, I'm going to do this thing here. here, and I know that this is minus 2 to 2. Changing colors on me, now I'm going to move those points as my shifts. I'm going to take this, move it over pi by 4, and then up 1. This point here, over pi by 4, and up 1. Pi by 4, 1, and so on. Uh, here and here and so on. I do it for each point and then I can get a sense of where my graph is. And I'm going to have the red curve that is right here. Now, when I think about this curve, and that's going to end up here. Okay, when I think about this curve, this is from 0 to 2 pi. The region from here to here. Okay, that's A part, the red curve from here to here. Now, B part is saying given g of x equals k. So there are two solutions to this particular equation. Well, the fact that g of x equals k means that I have a horizontal line. This is a constant. So I'm dealing with the fact that I have a constant. This is y equals some number. When that's true, it's going to be this graph here somewhere. Okay, somewhere there. And I know just from my whole graph, there are three solutions there. There's four solutions. If I move up here, one, two, three, four. I'm on the interval. So if I move to this value here, which was this particular thing, if I drew super accurate, I know that k has to be, k has to be 3. Then I have two solutions because there'll be two points of intersection. They are the two maximums.